Good day to all and welcome back for another video and today I'm going to discuss the three valued logic. But before I start, I'm going to introduce you first to John Lukasiewicz. So John Lukasiewicz was a Polish logician and philosopher who is best known for a Polish notation and Lukasiewicz logic. He was born in Lemberg, a city of the Galician Kingdom of Austria-Hungary. His work centered on philosophical logic, mathematical logic, and history of logic. His famous achievement was to give the first rigorous formulation of many valued logic. He introduced many improvements in professional logic and became the first historian to logic to treat the subject history from the standpoint of modern formal logic. So Lukasiewicz uses a three-valued logic besides true and false, or the result of somewhere in between true and false. Lukasiewicz classified the truth value of a statement, a true, a false, or maybe which I'm going to discuss now. So what I have right now is an example of a truth table. It shows the truth values for negation, conjunction, and disjunction in this three-valued logic. The first we have right now is a table of negation. On the left side, we can see P and null Q, so it could be true or false depending on the situation. On the right side, which is Q, would be the outcome of my P. So as you can see, that below P is true and false. And now that I have those, I can feel the rest. Because if my P is true, it will negate that the next one is false. And my statement is false, so the negating Q is true. The next thing we have is conjunction. As you can see, we have three outputs, which is P, Q, and the third column would be P and Q. Now we have four rows because we have a whole bunch of possibilities. We first have the first set, which I put P is true and Q is true also. The second is P is true and the second would be Q is the false. Next is P is going to be false and Q is going to be true. And the final possibility would be both P and Q would be false. Now, as you can see, all the possibilities now I want to do is P and Q, which I'll put a true, so three of them are true, then false. So two of them are false, then false again, and lastly, three of them are false. Last table we have is the disjunction, where I'll put P, Q, or P, or Q. And on this table, it's pretty much the same as the conjunction. Same possibilities, which is true, 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 then false, false, true, false, and false. And the first line, as we can see, both of them are true. So the third, of course, it's true. In the second scenario, one of them is true and the other one is false. But if the statement is one thing or another, then one of them is true. Third is false and true. So one of them is true, so true. Lastly, if false is false, which is likely to be true, then the answer would be false. 